easy break, 14,693. The June Mega Monster. Mega Monster! And again, just a reminder, all throughout next week, we are doing a crazy special deal on the Team Canada, see JT, on the Team Canada Master Boxes. Marcel Dion anniversary for the LA Kings and a rookie of Wellwood for the Flyers. So I will be posting them, but they are not breaking until Canada Day. So crazy deal on them, but they will be getting posted every single day. So if we fill one or seven or 20, we're, post we're doing all on Canada Day. Chris Mason victory for the Winnipeg Jets. But I do recommend this deal is going to be stupidly good. So take advantage of it, guys and girls. Young Gun San Jose Sharks of Justin Braun. Young Guns of Braun. Anniversary of Leg One for the Nashville Predators. And a victory rookie of Matt Taramina. New Jersey Devils. So if any of you guys have questions on the Canada Master Collection, let me know. Ray Croft for the Dallas Stars. I just don't want you guys being surprised of, you know, why is it sold out, but we're not doing it. That is why we're saving them all for Canada Day. Bob, your hockey heroes for Boston Bruins. But I've already worked out a deal with my distributor, folks. Victory rookie of Nick Letty for the Hawks. So if we fill five or ten, we are going to bring them in. We only fill two. Well, it kind of sucks, but there you go. We've got a Nikita Nik Nikitin. Ah, it's an awesome name. Nikita Nikitin for the Blues. Victory of Derek Bougard for the Rangers. And La Base. So yeah, I'm excited for the Canada Day. There is no limit of how many we're going to do. Every single time one's filled or close to filled, we are going to post another. So if it's literally six, we're going to post six. But every single day I will post new ones, presuming the other ones are filled. They're all going to go on Canada Day. That is our Canada Day special for you guys. <clears throat> I'm excited for that day. All Canada Day break. Samuel Girard, Young Guns for the Avs. We might throw in another uh, another break or two that day as well, just so you guys know. But Marky Rookie Rainbow for the Rangers of Heedle. Marky Rookie of Yamamoto for the Oilers. Canvas for the Rangers of Grabner. Young Guns for the LA Kings, Fantenberg. And just a reminder, every single person in this break is also at the end going to win a uh, box or a blast or a tin. Comrie for the Jets, Portraits Rookies. So you never know what you're going to get out of that too. It's possible there's some good stuff. Marky Rookie for the Anaheim Ducks, Giovanni Fiore. JT Confer, Avalanche Young Guns. We've got for the Blues, Vladimir Sabotka. Canvas. Braden Shen, OPG for the Blues. Portrait of J.T. Comfer for the Avs. And Valentin Zykov for the Canes. All right. Let's do the Series 1 2021.
Come on, Lafreniere. Let's get him right off the bat. Dazzlers for the New Jersey Devils of Blackwood. Canvas for the Blue Jackets of Warinski. Young Guns, Jason Robertson. Dallas Stars. Base. Portraits for the Philadelphia Flyers. Connect me. While we have a lot of people in the room, what's your guys' guess for the finals? Ustamenko, Young Guns for Philly. Who's winning it and how many games are they winning it? Canvas for the Dallas Stars of Sagan. And LaBase. Does anyone have the Habs winning or Tampa winning? We've got a Battles for the Islanders. It looks like a roller uh, run over on these ones. Liam Foodie for the Blue Jackets. And a Liam Foodie Gold for the Blue Jackets. Does anyone have the Habs winning? Apparently no one's got a prediction. Awesome. We've got a Marky Rookie Blue. Elvis Mers Lickens. Portraits Rookies of Coolman for the Boston Bruins. Young Guns for the Oilers, Joel Person. Chat is working, correct? I just want to make sure. Canvas for the Panthers, Bobrovsky. Portraits for the Pred of Rem Pitlick. Ah, there you go. Scott, I see your post. There you go. Tampa and five. Canvas of Sveshnikov for the Canes. Young Guns of Nikolai Prokorkin for the LA Kings. And a marquee rookie for the Bo oh sorry, for the Oilers. Joaquim Nygaard. Habs and six. At this point, I'm not surprised anymore if anyone picks Habs. Kirby Doc Glossy for the Hawks. Jack Hughes for the Devils. And a Kirby Doc Gold for the Hawks. I feel like counting out the Habs now is just wrong to do at this point. Like, if I didn't know the previous three uh, series, I would have said Tampa was going to murder the Habs. But knowing that they just beat the Vegas Golden Knights, the Jets, and the Leafs. Portraits, rookies of Makar for the Avalanche. And you hate the Habs, yeah. Shooting Stars uh, Red of Bennington for the Blues. Young Guns of Lean Bergman for the Sharks. Young Guns for the Devils of Nathan Bastion. 
<laughs> you don't want to jinx them, eh? So, Golden, you do you truthfully believe that they'll win? Kyle Connor for the Jets. And a young gun of paling for the Habs. We've got a Texier for the Blue Jackets. Fabro for the Nashville Predators. And a Grundstrom bronze glossy for the Kings. Well, wasn't the Islanders over the salary cap as well, technically? I, I Maybe I read that wrong somewhere that they're saying... Somebody was complaining about the Islanders that they had to play Tampa, who was massively over the salary cap. But then somebody pointed out that the Islanders were also like $10 million over the salary cap too, technically. Maybe it was just someone spewing garbage, but... Which is very possible. Baudet, Young Guns for the Hawks. Joseph Wool, Young Guns for the uh, Maple Leafs. Portraits for the Oilers of Benson. Young Guns, Timothy Lilligren for the Maple Leafs. They sign for cheaper. They do, yep. I think they got to pay some tax. There's got to be some tax for them. Canvas of Yamamoto for the Oilers. Canvas for the Coyotes of Garland. Canvas for the Winnipeg Jets of Line. Game Jersey for the LA Kings. Kopitar. LA Kings. Kopitar. Portraits for the Carolina Hurricanes of Aho. Do you actually think Carey Price got them there? Ingram for the Nashville Predators. The more and more I watch the Habs, I feel like they're more of a complete team than people are giving them credit for. Don't get me wrong, Carey Price is an absolute beast and has definitely, definitely helped them. Evans, Young Guns for the Habs. But I don't know if I would say, I don't know if in the Vegas series, Price won them that series. Portrait of Hellebuck. Like, they played a very solid team game. Dazzlers, Tampa Bay Lightning, Stamkos. Young Guns, Canvas. Bowen Byram. Bowen Byram. First big card goes to the Avalanche. Sweet. And again, if anyone wants to get cards graded, please just do the checkout. Congrats to whoever got the Bowen Byram. That's a big boy. Portraits falling away of Matthews for the Maple Leafs. And a Young Guns for the Oilers of Benson. Yeah, Carey Price is a beast. So who do you, as of right now, give the, uh, 
The con smite too. Is it between basically point and price, you guys think? You think those are the two that are most likely going to be the candidates? Marky Rookie Retro for the Devils of Sen. Marky Rookie of Joseph Wool for the Maple Leafs. Portrait of Ustamenko for Philly. Konechny Dazzlers for the Philadelphia Flyers. Point and price, yeah. That's who I have as right now. Radish Young Guns for the Rangers. Couturier for the Philadelphia Flyers canvas. And Vasilevsky. I haven't watched uh, many Tampa games, so I don't really know how good he's been. McLeod for the Oilers. All I know is point keeps scoring. Shane, not that I'm saying he should or should not be, but nobody thinks Caulfield at all for what he's done. Like, has he been... I know he's putting up decent points. Colesar, Young Guns for Vegas. Portrait Rookies of Lawrence for the Canes. Marky Rookie Blue of Coglin for Vegas. Soderstrom for the Coyotes Dazzlers. Sam Reinhardt for the Buffalo Sabres. Young Guns Caprisov. Is <laughs> that a good price point? Ah, uh, that's funny. I like it. Kaprizov for the wild. So a Byram canvas and a Kaprizov young guns. Start it off now. I like it. Marky rookie retro la Frenier for the Rangers. Marky rookie of Belzil for the Habs. Portrait Rookies of Korshkov for the Maple Leafs. Marshman Young Guns for the Panthers. Drew Doughty, LA Kings Canvas. Jack Hughes for the Devils, Dazzlers. Marky Rookie of Ty Delandrea. I'm going on the assumption, Shane, that if Cole has, like, an absolute killer series. Again, only on that assumption would he then be considered, potentially. Like, if he had, like, five or six or seven goals in the series. Braden Burke for the Coyotes. Portrait of Angelo for the Penguins. Award winners, Tampa Bay Lightning. D'Angelo Canvas for the Rangers. Anna Maloche, Young Guns for the Sharks. Ingram for the Preds. Does, who actually picks? Who actually picks Con Smythe? Is this the NHL picks it or is it other uh, players or... Who actually picks that? Right now, I have it as Carey Price winning the Con Smythe. And I have Braden Point very close if he continues doing what he's doing, obviously. But again, I feel like it kind of also goes depending on where the series goes. If, uh, if Tampa lights up Price, I feel like he can't really give it to Price at this point, but a lot of if, ands, or buts. We've got a Shining Stars Rainbow of Carlson for the Sens. I, I personally would like to see Price get it. I feel like he's put in so many years with a very subpar team in front of him. 
It'd be a nice little uh, cap in his feather. Or feather in his cap, I guess. Not cap in his feather. Seth Jones for the Jackets. I guess you could have put a cap on a feather, too, but... Young Guns of S. Lindell for the Dallas Stars. Portraits Rookies. William Nylander for the Maple Leafs. And Golden on the card I sent you a text of today. Do you want to maybe send an offer if you... Uh, what you think in the range or rough range of that kind of, what that kind of stuff goes for? Just so I know. I'm trying to find you some cool stuff, man. Shining stars of Klingberg for Dallas. I think Price absolutely could get it if he if he loses. But I feel it really matters on how he loses. For the Maple Leafs, Connor Brown. Like, if he is absolutely stoning the uh, Lightning every game, they take him to seven, and they lose, but, like, Price has been amazing, why not? And base. But, like, if they lose in four, and then, you know, three, four, five goals against every game, then at that point I would say I, I don't think so. But I think if he lost a close game, or close battle, sorry, series, absolutely. But it also depends. If they lose a close seven game series and Brayden Point has like 15 goals, <laughs> who knows? 199 for the Hawks of Regula. Regula? No, ooh, wow, that's a good one. Number 24. Authentic rookie for the Buffalo Sabres. Dylan Cousins. Cousins out of 24. That's sick. We've got a rookie auto for Dallas of Kibaranta. For the Oilers, skills jersey of McDavid. That's a good one. Golden, again, just between uh, obviously us two on the pricing. I'm not saying you even research. Like, what, what a card like that should it be around? Quinn Hughes. Is that like a two $300 card, three $400 card, $50 to $100 card? And a Latang for the Penguins. Obviously, it is an upper deck card this time, not a, uh, I think you had the, what was the last one? I think the Leaf one, right? Or Ultimate. That was a good box of, uh, Point doesn't even lead in scoring. Really? Who's, who's the scoring leader right now? That's actually very surprising. Mind you, if Point breaks a record for most consecutive goals, that's a very amazing feat. Have him in mind. Oh, fair enough. Alright, let's go. Crosby or Ovi in this. We can do it. We can do it. Kucha. No, no, no. I'm saying if he did, though. Eight feet. If he did. I'm not saying he did yet. All-time finalist of Nabokov. I'm saying if he, if he beats that, you gotta give him at least some sort of Consideration. That that's a crazy good feat either way. We've got oh the last game, is that right? Oh I forgot about that, yeah. Patrick Eves for the Sens. Forgot about the last game. That's what you were saying, eight feet. Scoring Kings of Sundin for the Maple Leafs. We've got a Jerome Ginla for Calgary finalist. That's what it was, yeah. 
Oh, so his streak's over, eh? Marner's lower on the list. He's down there. He's, he's close, right? You know. Hey, he scored as many goals as Carey Price has this playoffs, okay? We've got a McClellan for the Blues rookie. No, I was I was saying it wrong, eight feet. I was saying it wrong. I, I completely forgot that point did not score in the last game. I legit thought his streak was still going. So I was wrong on that one. Patrick Waugh for the Habs. Finalist. Super six of Marty Broder for the Devils. We've got a Noka Linen rookie for the Islanders. Noka Linen. We've got for the Anaheim Ducks, Corey Perry. They have the top five score so far. Holy jeez. That's amazing. That actually is a very impressive. I, I would wonder if that's ever happened before in the playoffs. And I presume since they're playing the Habs, none of the Habs are probably going to pass those guys, right? Brodziak, rookie for the Oilers. Scoring Kings of Alfredson for the Sens. Mario Lemieux for the Penguins. Tough playoff hockey, exactly. Yeah, it was right there, playing great. For the Dallas Stars, scoring Kings jersey, Bill Guerin. Bill Guerin. Matt Foy, rookie for the Wild. Toffoli's too back. Okay, so Toffoli could get it. Yeah, I'm excited to watch those games. I think they're going to be uh, great games, honestly. Really great games. Steve Sullivan for the Preds. Have they announced anything? Is Montreal going to allow more fans in? Or are they still going to be at the 2,500 or whatever it is? Scoring Kings for the Rangers of Yarmer Yager. And a Talbot for the Penguins rookie. Wrong Penguins rookie. What things are. Well, we had that conversation about Shifley. I feel like we're we're done that conversation with Shifley at this point. A lot of people thought it was very dirty. Some people thought it was clean. It is what it is. That conversation has come and gone. For the Winnipeg Jets, number to 65, Kyle Connor. Well, here's the question I would have for any of you guys. If it was Vegas versus Tampa, I feel like a decent amount of you guys would pick Vegas to win. And I don't see uh, Montreal playing Tampa any differently than they did Vegas. 75, base parallel of Tavares for the Leafs. I think Montreal's going to make it very tough on them to score. We've got a retro rookie redemption number seven, which is Kaliev. Oh, no, wait, never mind. Sorokin for the Islanders. So I got the wrong list. Sorokin for the Islanders. For the LA Kings remnant of Kopitar. LA Kings, Kopitar. Yep. 
We've got a 145 dual jersey for the Devils of Heeshear. $4.99 for the Detroit Red Wings. Chelios. For the Oilers, Oram Connor McDavid. McDavid. Yeah. I definitely think they probably got a little tired. Like, and especially that series against uh, Avalanche. That's not a that's not a light series to play. Four ninety nine Zetterberg for the Red Wings. That was a very very tough series for them. And a nine ninety nine for the Vegas Golden Knights. Peyton Krebs. Like don't get me wrong, no series are really easy, except for when Montreal beat Winnipeg. That one was easy. I kid, Winnipeg fans. I kid. Spectrum carry price for the Habs. Spectrum Future Watch Bamstrom for the Jackets. We've got for the Red Wings Sign of the Times Draft Auto Philip Zadina. That's a pretty rare one, actually. I do not see a lot of that one. Moments of Alex Petrangelo for the Blues. Connor Brown for the Ottawa Senators. How many sweeps were there this year? Is it uh, two? Three. Three sweeps? Future Watch of Lilia for the Jackets. Limited for the Ottawa Senators. Brady Kachuk. Yeah, three sweeps, right? Or Nico Heeshear for the Devils. McDavid Essentials for the Oilers. Pasternak for the Boston Bruins update. Martinez, Vegas Golden Knights. Moments of Carey Price for the Habs. Stamp goes Tampa Bay Lightning. Spectrum of Taylor Hall for the Coyotes. Spectrum FX, future watch of Bjorn Fott, L.A. Kings. We've got a retro future watch auto for the Red Wings, Philip Zadina. This is basically uh, a Red Wings box. Moment of Longfist for the Rangers. Clegg for the LA Kings. Young guns. To be fair, Brian, I, and again, this is just quick for the LA Kings. And number to 100, it looks like it's jersey numbered Tristan Jari. For the Penguins. Realistically, the Leafs played the Habs the hardest. And they lost two of their games in overtime. Uh, yeah, two of the games in overtime. One of the games by one goal, I think. And the other one they just sucked. The last game. But realistically, if you look at how the, how well the Habs are built for playoffs, the Leafs played a surprisingly good game for them. I don't think body checking would have changed much against the Habs. Because... Vegas is a much bigger 
and harder hitting team than Toronto is, and it didn't seem to do anything against the Habs for them. We've got a Buffalo Sabres, Reinhardt. Buffalo Sabres jersey, Reinhardt. We've got for the Dallas Stars, Joe Pavelski. Oh, no, I don't disagree that they got out hit every single game. But I feel like that's a very moot point. They won games 2, 3, 4 without hitting them hard. And they lost games 5 and 6 in overtime. Two ninety nine for the Islanders, Anders Lee. So realistically, I don't think... Like, if the Leafs got spanked every game, that's different. And for the Avalanche, Martin Cott. But I do not think that hitting had a massive bearing on the series. I, I think just Montreal is a much better shutdown team. That's the only only thing I'd say is like Montreal was a much better shutdown team. Toronto had trouble scoring, but like close series on both ends, realistically. And I think game two was a one goal game if I remember correctly too. We've got a Red Wing, Steve Eiserman. So basically four of the seven games were one goal games. For the Dallas Stars, Ben Bishop. Ben Bishop. For the Devils, 399, Brandon Gignat. Just let them play. For the Oilers, three ninety nine, Gay Ten Haas. Yeah, the Reds I feel have always been very inconsistent in playoffs, which is frustrating. On both sides, obviously. For the Boston Bruins, Reliance Green, rookie of Clifton. Ninety nine, Clifton. We've got a red base number to seventy five. John Carlson for the Caps. Red for the Capitals. For the Penguins, rookie auto of Bluger. 199 Bluger. And esteemed Carlson for the Sharks. The only thing that consists on is being crap yet. Do they switch up refs uh, every game, or do they have the same refs for the series? For the Rangers, Leas Anderson. Leas Anderson for the Rangers. I dropped those over. Yeah, Shane, I feel like it's just been that kind of like, I wouldn't say hidden rule, but that kind of, in the playoffs, you let more go. Why that is, who knows. For the Golden Knights, number to 35 exclusives auto, Mark Stone. So only back-to-back -back goals, not the same rest for the series? I wonder if that would be better or worse. And I know, Golden, we had our conversations on the refing. Like, as it, my, my really only prime example for the Leafs' end was I think it was Game 7 when, when Toronto got called and Habs did not on, in my opinion, almost the exact same type of play. And it, either call both or call none. And I'm fine with that. But you have to have consistency, and especially in playoffs. These goals can make a massive difference in playoffs. Especially uh, like one goal games, two goal games, like it all makes a massive difference. Now, mind you, Tron on the power play might have actually been better. Not going on the power play might have been more beneficial for them. God knows they sucked up the power play and they led in the shorties. Three ninety nine base of Pekka. Pekka. 
Osaka for the Islanders. We've got number to 199, super rookie for the Ottawa Senators, Ray Emery. One ninety nine Ray Emery for the Avalanche. We've got a ninety nine jersey of Forsberg. Forsberg, and we've got number to one twenty five. This is a big card back in the day. Signatures for the Anaheim Ducks of Shistov. Shistov. Yeah, that, uh, Shane, that example I feel like doesn't really work too well. Because, like, obviously, umpires do call the strike zone differently. I, I see what you're saying. The way I look at it is I feel like players play harder in the playoffs, so I think there's a bit more leniency of letting the play flow, but NBA is by far the worst. I, I have trouble watching some of those games. Yeah, I feel like as long as you always have human beings making the call, there's always going to be a differential opinion on what should get called and what shouldn't. Three ninety nine Jerome Aginla. Three ninety nine Jerome Aginla. For the Blues signatures, Doug Wait. Doug Wait. We've got what team? Uh, that's a cool one. Number to 300 for the LA Kings, Wayne Gretzky. Oh, I agree, Shane. I absolutely agree with you on that. We're on the same page on that one. I'm saying I think it's going to be hard for them to change that. 300 jersey, Wayne Gretzky, all-star jersey. And we've got for the Philadelphia Flyers, Vaclav Pletka, number to 399. Super rookie. Like, to be fair, though, Shane, if you look at something like 10, 15 years ago, you would literally have to kill somebody in the, in the overtime to get a call. Literally would have to kill somebody. Nowadays, they're very... They call a lot of penalties in overtime. So I do feel like they are being... A little better than they used to be. I do remember watching back in the day. You literally had to kill somebody in overtime to get a call. We've got a 349 Barkov for the Panthers. Barkov. Ooh, nice. 99 Triple Diamond. For the Islanders, Ilya Sorokin. Ilya Sorokin, triple diamond. That's a beast. Very nice. For the Boston Bruins, Team Logo Jumbos of Ray Bork. Team Logo Jumbos. We've got for the Vegas Golden Knights, Diamond Debut Jersey of Peyton Kreps. 399, Peyton Kreps. For the Penguins, 399, Rookie Gems of Joseph. And for the Calgary Flames, 199 exquisite of a Ginla. The thing is, though, Shane, I think you're kind of somewhat saying two different things. There is no different rules in OT, though. I think they just... Again, by the actual rule book, there's no different rules in OT. 
It's just sometimes the ref call things differently in OT, but there's no actual different rules for overtime. Four. Ooh, that's sexy. Number two of ten. Rookie Jumbo Exquisite Patch, Dylan Strom. Oh, you mean that rule? Okay, sorry. Uh, well, to be fair, I believe, uh, is that not different in the Euro Cup and stuff? Do they, or in soccer, don't they have different things for different events? Two of ten, Dylan Strom. That's sexy. We've got for the Philadelphia Flyers, Giroux. To be fair though, I think that overtime rule is never the same, right? I don't think in time there's ever a rule like that that was the same. Team Logo Jumbos, Connor McDavid. Because it always used to be what? a Five or ten minute overtime in regular season. Five on five, I think. McDavid. For the Maple Leafs. Two ninety nine dual rookie jersey booklet. Nylander. Dual rookie jersey booklet. And for the Rangers, rookie gems, Jimmy VC. No, but what I'm saying though, yeah, but that's what I'm saying, is they always their overtime was always different in hockey. Playoff, I might be wrong, but playoff hockey overtime has always been go until someone scores, right? Whereas in the season, it was shorter and there was ties, and no matter what, it's always gonna be different. But I, I see what you're saying. You imagine if they implemented they have to score in uh, in uh, regular season. 99 quad mem of Della Rose for the Habs. That's a sick card. Della Rose. In all honesty, Shane, I, I honestly firmly believe they did the... Uh, three-on-three three hockey to make the game a lot more entertaining for fans at the end. I think that's literally one of the only reasons. 199 Giroux for the Flyers. And I like it. Like, it is super fun and entertaining. And I'll be honest, I went to a lot of games when I was younger and I, I hated ties. You just felt empty leaving. We've got for the Red Wings Team Logo Jumbos, Nikki Lidstrom. Four, uh, that would be interesting. Five on five first period, four on four second period, three on three third period. Like, overtime period. Nice. Number to 15. Team Logo Jumbos Gold. Chris Kunitz for the Penguins. Now, mind you, this year has probably got to be one of the fastest overtime years ever. On average. Team logo jumbos. We've got for the Carolina Hurricanes, Hannah Finn. Hannah Finn. And we've got a rookie gems, a three ninety nine of Samuelson for the Coyotes. 99. Anna, that's why you're the golden snitch. Yeah, right there, that's why. Bye, Bax. We've got a 199 for the Hawks, Patty Kane. Patrick Kane. 
Huh, it's interesting. Oh, nice. We've got a code to greatness. Autograph numbered six of fifteen for the Oilers. Wayne Gretzky. Well, that's the hit of the break as of right now. Six of fifteen. Wayne Gretzky. Sick. Is there something on the card? Is that just a bubble? Oh, that's just like plastic bubble. You know what? I will say, I, I, as a fan, I love playoff hockey when it goes like two, three, four periods. Like, I absolutely love that. Again, I'm only a fan watching it. I'm not the one skating and getting super tired. Probably makes a massive difference. But I, I love playoff hockey. You have no cards? Yeah, it's not good. No, no, he feeds it. That is not good. We've got a Red Wings 2 9, Dylan Larkin. Dylan Larkin. For the Maple Leafs, 2 99, Trevor Moore. What team did you have eight feet again? For the Devils, 249, Brandon Gignac. New Jersey Devils. I think Vancouver, right? If my memory serves correct. For the Devils, again, Nikita Gusev. Gusev. <laughs> oh, sick. We've got a base auto for the Maple Leafs, Austin Matthews. We've had a Gretzky. We've had a Matthews. Who's going to be next? Maybe McDavid? Bum, bum, bum. And the Cousins out of 24 is pretty not bad. Florida Panthers to 99, Barkov. Swatches. And for the Vegas Golden Knights, Mark andre Fleury. So Matthews Auto, Gretzky Auto. Hitting some biggies. Yeah, I know. Definitely better than the last... Uh, mega that we had this is definitely a lot more heavier hitting in this one than it was in the previous one which is nice we've got for the wild dubnik 249 Devin dubnik tampa card all right for the buffalo sabers kneelander to 199 buffalo sabers <laughs> yes please for the Coyotes, two ninety nine Christian Fisher. I think it's a valid, you know, thing. I feel like you should just complain to the NHL at this point. Knowing cancel culture, they'll probably change it. Christian Fisher, two ninety nine. For the Oilers, Yamamoto. Yamamoto, jersey. Dual jersey to 99 for the Blue Jackets of Wierenski and Jones. Dual jersey. Quad jersey to 49 for the Flyers. Giroux, Couturier, Connect Me, Gosses Bear. Quad jersey. And we've got for the Coyotes, Nick Merkley. All right, so question for everyone in this break now, because most of the high-end guys should be listening. 
For the next Mega Monster, would you guys like me to try taking out 15, 16 cup and supplementing that with a lot of other good mid boxes? So it'll be a much larger break, but obviously no opportunity at the potential biggest card in the industry right now. You guys want me to try that next time so it's a bigger break, more boxes? We've got for the Sharks, Joe Thornton, three ninety nine. For the Islanders, La Fontaine. Yeah, okay. Two yeses so far, that's good to know. La Fontaine. For the Maple Leafs, rookie auto patch, Connor Brown. Anyone else got opinion to join this? $2.99, Connor Brown. For the Minnesota Wild, $3.99, Mike Riley. I like getting a lot of different opinions on this kind of stuff. $3.99, Minnesota, Mike Riley. Dual jersey to 99 for the Dallas Stars of Spezza and Ben. Jamie Ben, Jason Spezza. Oh, that's a nice card. Number two of eight. Mega patch sleeve logos. Jake Allen. Mega patch sleeve logos out of eight. Jake Allen. And we got for the Buffalo Sabres, Baptiste. Sick. All right. Cup time. Where's my knife? There it is. Yeah, I was debating it on this one if I should do that, but again, like. I love the idea of maybe being able to get a McDavid 99. And again, at the end of the day, a break that could potentially have a fifty to hundred thousand dollar card, I feel like it's pretty damn cool. Now, obviously, you know, there's also a very good potential that you won't get it. But I'm just a big fan of the uh, potential on that aspect. Two forty nine for the Maple Leafs of Marner. Now again, I understand everyone's gonna think differently on that kind of stuff. There's no right or wrong. This is a good one. Two forty nine rookie patch auto Joey Decord for the Ottawa Senators. A two thousand dollar card here. That'd be nice, eh? Joey Decord. Two forty nine. For the Flyers, we got a scripted swatches to 35, Morgan Frost. Morgan Frost. Oh, that's a sick card. I love these this year's cards. Number nine of 15, scripted swatches. Sticks for the Vancouver Canucks, Roberto Luongo. Got the Reebok logo on the stick. That's a draw free ride. That's interesting. Okay, that's good to know. Luongo scripted sticks out of 15. That's beast. Oh, that's a sick pack. This, this is a sick pack. Number 10 of 24 for the San Jose Sharks Gold Rookie Auto. Patch Auto. Lean Bergman. That is a sick looking swatch. 
Lean Bergman. Six teeth. And what a pack. Number 25. Exquisite endorsement patch auto. I'm pretty sure this is a short print. Brent Burns. San Jose Sharks out of 25. Brent Burns. Wasn't San Jose last team? That's pretty sweet. Those are some sweet patches. Yeah, again, obviously we're always going to try to tinker around with what's the best formula. There is never going to be a formula that everyone's going to sit there and say that's the best formula. But I might on the next one, I might kick out 15-16 cup. I probably will keep 16-17 as the uh, giveaway. Because I feel like that's a great giveaway, uh, Ryan. But I might supplement a whole bunch of mid boxes instead of 15 16 cup. And maybe see how that goes, but we'll find out, I guess. We will find out. But mind you, I don't know what's going to come first the next Mega Monster or. We got. They're all going to clump together because we have the Mega Monster, the Bash Monster. And 15,000 all creeping their heads out. 249, Vancouver, Louis Erickson. Louis Erickson. For the Coyotes, rookie patch auto, Dylan Strom. Dylan Strom. Rookie patch auto to 249. Stromer. It's a big uh, rookie auto that year. For the Calgary Flames, scripted materials to 35. Mark Giordano. Mark Giordano, Calgary. The next card looks pretty badass. Oh, yeah. Number two of two. Quad tag for the Winnipeg Jets. Bufflin, Wheeler, Shifley, Ehlers. Two of two. Quad tag. That is gorgeous. And we've got for the Dallas Stars 249, Mike Madonna. This has been, honestly, this has been a much better mega than the, uh, the previous one. So I'm very happy to see that. Not saying everyone's going to do well. Obviously, I always apologize on that, but I like it when a lot of different teams are getting some good hits. All right. Can we finish this off with a McDavid, folks? Starting off with the best team on the planet. Never a bad sign. Now let's get a McDavid. I know. Gretzky's not good enough for you, is it? We just have to get another one. <laughs> I hope we get one. 249 for the Maple Leafs, Nazem Kadri. Maple Leafs, Nazem Kadri. We also got the Kaprizov Young Gun. We've got for the Boston Bruins, a 249. Malcolm Subban. Nine or sorry, two forty nine, Boston Bruins, Malcolm, Subban. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that's a nice card. Number nine of twenty three, exquisite rookie patch auto for the Minnesota Wild. Gustav Olafsson. 
Low numbered exquisite. Olafson for the Minnesota Wild. For the Ottawa Senators, 249, Max McCormick. Rookie Auto, Max McCormick. 99 signature patches for the Montreal Canadiens. Brandon Gallagher. And we've got for the Vancouver Canucks 249, Pavel Bure. Now I got the randoms, folks. Patrick, I feel awful for you. I really do. I apologize. Randoms for the boxes, folks. So let's see who gets that one. I uh, don't know if I have it ready yet. Hold on. Camera, focus. Come on. There we go. All right. So I have all the lists ready. So here we go. Three times I got the list here. I got all the boxes here. And I think I have it all up. Oh, that's my original list. I'm going to kill that one. And that one is here now. So all 31 boxes. Good luck. One, two, three. Bloop. Bloop. And where are you, boxes? One, two, three. And the boxes. So Ovi's got a trilogy, Centennial Rod. Trilogy goes to Trader. Andrew Series 1 Retail, 1718. Trader gets a Series 2 Retail. Ovi gets Centennial Blaster, same with VPT. 21, uh, 2021 a Series 1 Hobby, Caden. Scott gets a Series 1 Tin. Ryan a Series 1 Hobby. Barkov Centennial. Sass has a Series 1 Hobby. AD's got a Blaster, uh, Centennial. Mick G's got a Tin, Series 1. 1718 Retails goes to Rod and Keith. Uncle got the Series 1 tin. Rod, Dill, Peter, and Bosox, a Centennial Blaster. Uh, 2021 Series 2, Dexter. Ryan's got a Series 1, 1718. Eric and Game Warren have a Centennial Blaster. Mavs got a Series 1 tin. 1718 Series 1 Retail goes to IBJ. Ryan, a tin. 8 feet Blaster, Maple Leaf Blaster. NC gets the Cup tin. And Eric gets a Series 1 tin. Craig gets a Series 2 retail.